5G. Once again, we will attempt to reshape the mid-range 5G segment and make it better than ever. Now, the M4 Pro 5G, it's all about powering up your fun. When we looked at some of the M-Series users from Poco Community, we realized that they just like all the entertainment offered by smartphones. Streaming, photography, music, and a little bit of gaming. It was all just about fun. So the challenge is, how do we power up from an already great 5G mid-range smartphone that offered great entertainment features? Well, you know what we like to start off here at Poco? Performance. Powering up your performance. At the heart of all of it, the engine that keeps the fun going. Featuring in the Poco M4 Pro 5G, we have a new MediaTek chipset. Continuing the power of last generation, M3 Pro's Dimensity 700, today we bring you the Dimensity 810, a very powerful mid-range chipset, better than before. And let me break it down for you. The MediaTek 810 features a high-performance octa-core processor, processing power up to 2.4 gigahertz, and of course, a Mali's G57 GPU. But what's most important, it's a six nanometer process. With six nanometer, MediaTek Dimensity 810 has the same process as its flagship brothers, the Dimensity 1200 and the 1100. So power efficiency is at flagship level. And when we put the two side by side, we can see that it has improved in three main areas. The process technology, amped up CPU, amped up GPU, making it powerful than ever. And in case you want to see some test results, we have an Antutu 2 benchmark score here. With those improvements, we're seeing an improved score of around 320,000 to nearly 400,000. As a mid-range processor, a score close to 400,000 is pretty impressive. So we're confident with the MediaTek 810, you can power all the fun you do in a smartphone. Now, we also kept some of the performance from before, such as UFS 2.2 for all variants. Compared to most mid-range smartphones, which are still using UFS 2.1, UFS 2.2 is 139% faster than 2.1. The result is you get to load apps or install apps much faster. Of course, we kept dual 5G SIM card slot for the option and one terabyte of expandable storage. Now, this number still blows my mind. One terabyte in a phone. And I know some smartphones offer one terabyte option out there already, but their price? Insane. Now, to make sure we make full use of the power packed in the M4 Pro 5G, we feature MIUI 12.5 out of the box, which is the latest MIUI software available. Now, compared to MIUI 12, MIUI 12.5 uses 22% less power and 15% less power consumption, which is basically giving you a lot more battery life while not losing the power. The result is simple. It's faster smoother, and lighter. But the biggest difference of 12 and 12.5 for our POCO users is dynamic RAM expansion technology. Now, with this available in MIUI 12.5, we are actually increasing the RAM by using a part of the spare ROM left. Now, as long as your storage isn't full, it has the ability to utilize a bit of the ROM space and act as extra RAM. That's pretty cool stuff which means for our two variants of 4 gigabyte and 6 gigabyte RAM, with dynamic RAM expansion technology, you can now have 5 gigabyte RAM for the low variant and 8 gigabyte RAM for the high variant. Now, this is honestly pretty great for mid-range devices, giving you more RAM through hardware and software working in harmony. So when we compare the upgrades from M3 Pro 5G, the performance is powered up backed up by a stronger Antutu 2 score with out-of-the-box MIUI 12.5, and most importantly, a flagship level 6 nanometer process. It's easy to say the M4 Pro 5G got great upgrades from the previous generation in performance. Powered up processor, 
dynamic RAM expansion, and we kept some of the most beloved features, such as UFS 2.2, expandable storage up to one terabyte, and dual 5G. We're confident the Poco M4 Pro 5G's performance is enough to power up your fun on a daily basis. Now then we had to make sure all those power can last. Battery, always an important category for all of our Poco series, but maybe even more so in M series. So how do we power that up? First, we had to ensure we still have a big battery in the M4 Pro 5G. It's been a tradition for us since one year ago, starting with the Poco M3's 6,000 milliamp battery, and then the Poco M3 Pro's 5,000 milliamp battery. So the M4 Pro 5G, we still maintained a massive 5,000 milliamp battery that will still give you two days of battery life. This is to ensure it can last through all the entertainment you can do on your smartphone. Now, with this 5,000 milliamp battery, you can have crazy hours of entertainment. More than 170 hours of music, over 30 hours of reading, 16 hours of video playback, and an amazing 12 hours of gaming. But we realized at this segment, battery was actually never a huge concern. It was actually fast charging. Now, we all know fast charging tech in the industry has been growing rapidly. We have devices in the market that has unbelievable charging speeds. But those devices usually sit in the flagship range. So we checked out the average charging speed in the entry and the mid-range level smartphones. That varies between 10 watt to 15 watt to 18 watt. Now, if you had a battery size of 3,000 or 4,000 milliamp, this isn't too bad at all. But when you're packing 5,000 and 6,000 battery, it might not be fast enough. So we decided to power the charging speed up. For the M4 Pro 5G, we featured the 33-watt Pro fast charging technology. Now, we say Pro after 33-watt because it's not just any 33-watt charging. It uses MMT charging technology, which means it actually charges through two electric current instead of one. Now, this allows the battery to have less resistance near the end when it's around 80 to 90%. You guys know what I'm talking about. When phone charges super quick from 0 to 70, then it kind of slows down from there, struggling to get the rest. Now, this doesn't happen with MMT. 33-watt Pro fast charging actually may even be faster than some older 50-watt charging tech. So when you combine a 5,000 milliamp battery and a 33-watt Pro fast charging, the M4 Pro 5G can charge up to 100% in just 59 minutes. Now, that is quite the stunning figure. And let's check out a sample video. So to sum it all up, it's quite simple. We maintain that big traditional battery that was always loved by our fans and users. But we powered up the charging speed to 33 watt pro fast charging. Of course, we'll be throwing in a 33 watt inbox charger along with it. How could we not? We gotta give out the whole experience. Now next up, design. I know you guys saw some renders in the earlier slides, but let's really check it out now. Now, design has always been crucial in our M series. One year ago, I said on the launch, M3 was actually considered from the Poco team the best looking smartphone from the brand. Today, that may change. Now, M series design has always been standout and different. It may be an entry to mid range smartphone, but we made sure every model we made looked much more premium than that. And our fans loved it. With some of the special design features, such as having our first Poco Yellow phone on our M3 and continuing that in our M3 Pro 5G, our fans were ecstatic about it. We actually looked back at the design blueprint of the M3 and the M3 Pro 5G, and today we may have made one of the most beautiful smartphones of the year for us. Let's check out some renders. 
First, we have Power Black, a premium, stealth, firm-looking black. With design language inspired from the previous two generation, the black frame is a touch that we absolutely loved. But we also have Cool Blue. Blue has slowly become some of our fans' favorite. It now sits across all of our lineups, and it's been one of those colors that just look better over time. Now, this cool blue has a gradient touch to it. From the top, it starts off light and then becomes a bit darker as it flows to the bottom. Stunning. And you guys should know what's coming next. We had to save the best for last. The Poco M4 Pro 5G in Poco Yellow. Now, this is the third yellow we've done on M-Series, and we're still obsessed with it. With Poco Yellow being our brand color and one of the rarest colors you'll see on the market, this yellow is certainly going to stand out from every other smartphone just purely by its stunning design. The combination of the black deco and the yellow body, it's on point. So here it is. We have the three refreshed stunning colors for the Poco M4 Pro 5G. Now it's extremely difficult to choose which one's my favorite. Usually, it's not that hard, but because all three looks really good. Let us know in the comments below which color you prefer. Now, we talked about the backside. Let's take a look at the front. Now, featuring in the Poco M4 Pro 5G, we have a 6.6-inch display size, making this the largest screen for the Poco M series. Compared to previous generation, we've always been around 6.5-inch, with the M3 and the M3 Pro 5G. Now, we have 6.6 inch, similar size as our other flagship devices, such as the Poco F3. Another area we improve is actually touch sampling rate. Now, with the Poco M3 Pro 5G, we featured a 180 hertz touch sampling rate, which was decent. But for those who want to game a bit more often, we want them to experience a faster reaction from the screen. When you're playing FPS or MOBA, those milliseconds reaction matters. But besides it being a fast as a screen, we also added other improvements. For the very first time in our M series, we've added DCI-P3 onto our display. DCI-P3, white color gamut. It's a color space or a set of colors which helps it look even more vibrant. It's pretty advanced stuff and it's very cool. For example, we took this photo, and it looks pretty good already. But when you have DCI-P3, it can be even better. The colors really come alive. But not only we increase the color of this display, we also optimize the brightness through a software. Now, to make sure our users get a bright display under any environment, we have incorporated the sunlight display in the M4 Pro 5G, which allows you to view clearly even under the bright sun. So when you're swiping social media or just reading an article or an ebook, you just need to turn this on in the settings and you're all set. A small feature, but very handy. Of course, we made sure it's bright, it's colorful, but we also made sure the screen is fast. Just like the last generation, the Poco M3 Pro 5G, we kept the 90 hertz refresh rate which makes daily scrolling and gaming a better experience in general. Now, refresh rate has really become a feature personally that I cannot live without now. I'm getting very spoiled here. However, it's definitely becoming more and more of a necessity. And paired with our 90 hertz refresh rate, we also kept Dynamic Switch, a technology that allows the phone to detect what you do and automatically adjust to the frame rate to keep and conserve the battery life. This is to make sure we optimize to the maximum. So then when we combine all of these display features, a big screen, 6.6 .6 inches, 90 hertz high refresh rate, along with an improved 240 hertz touch sampling rate, and DCI-P3 wide color gamut for the first time, this may be one of the best mid-range display among 5G smartphones. So the overall design from front and back of the M4 Pro 5G, it really is close to perfect. We incorporated the fan favorite look 
and also my favorite design out of all POCO smartphones so far, three awesome colors that really shows off different characteristics, a great screen for all your entertainment. This is a power-up design. Now camera. We've got to talk about camera, an area that I know our fans are very curious about. Let's see how the M4 Pro 5G powered up from the last generation. For the first time ever, on a POCO smartphone, we are featuring a 50 megapixel main sensor, which is an improvement from our last generation's 48 megapixel. This allows our users to take quality shots, but don't just hear from me. Let's take a look at some sample shots. As always, we start off with architecture shots, where you can get really creative with the angles. With the white building like this, you can see how it captured the white really well without losing the shadows on the left side. And when you take the photo from the other side of the building, where there's more exposure of the sunlight, it performs even better, fully making sure the color and the shadow is accurate. Even on the bottom left of the photo, through those triangular cracks, you can see some tree branches. That's some details. And when you want to show off your swag on Instagram or Twitter, put yourself in the photo. The POCO M4 Pro 5G's 50 megapixel main camera got you covered. Not only you'll be clear, but look at the details, capturing the ripples on the water surface. And for those who like to explore the night, it also supports night mode, which will incorporate AI calculation to make sure the photo is clear, even if it's not exposed to a lot of light. And for our next improvement on camera, it's here. For the first time ever on M-Series, we are featuring the ultra-wide lens. I know fans have been asking for this lens for a while, and we're happy to say it's here today on M4 Pro 5G. Let's see what it can do. So when you're in a huge building like this, and it's just so beautiful, you want to capture more, right? Simply switch to ultra-wide lens, and you'll be able to catch, capture 119-degree ultra-wide image, giving you more. And it just looks so much better. Again, if you want to take a picture with yourself in it and capture some more background, you can also do cool shots like this, keeping the focus on you but blurring the Rubik's Cube. You are the star of this image, but capturing the environment around you is also very important. Now, the POCO M4 Pro 5G is indeed a dual camera system. Yes, <laughs> that's right. I'm sure some of the fans watching right now are surprised at this decision. But it was our intention to remove the usual triple or quad camera setup. And this is based on a lot of feedbacks over the last year or so from fans saying they don't necessarily use the depth sensor or the macro lens. This may be one of the only 5G smartphone with dual camera that's launched this year. And the best part is it doesn't have an outdated design. It looks super modern. But we didn't forget about the front camera. From our last generation of 8 megapixel front camera, We've now doubled the megapixel, and it's now at 16 megapixel. So you can take selfies with even better quality. A great camera to take cool selfie and make it your display picture on Poco Community. Now, I know a lot of our fans take really creative content with Poco phones and post them on community or social media. So for the M4 Pro 5G, we still kept all the cool software features that was launched on the M3 and M3 Pro 5G, such as kaleidoscope, slow motion, and time-lapse video. So to sum up camera, it was a power-up even though we decreased the number of cameras. With 50 megapixel main sensor, ultra-wide camera, and the cool software features, you are definitely going to power up your creativity. As always, feel free to tag us on your favorite shot on Poco picture or video on our official social media platforms or simply share them on Poco Community. Now, let's move on to experience. Experience is an essential part of our smartphones. Now, they're usually the hidden specifications that aren't always highlighted. However, on the M4 Pro 5G, 
there are some very worth talking about. Now, the team here at Poco really dug in in what are some of the features that could really enhance the overall experience. And we came down to three main things. Audio, feel, and convenience. And on the M4 Pro 5G, we're going to power these features up. When it comes to audio, we have now upgraded to dual speakers from the previous generation's single speaker. This allows our users and fans to have a stereo sound when they're gaming or watching videos or simply just listening to music, a feature that has really become a standard today. Now, I do want to ask our viewers and fans watching right now, what is the first thing you do when you get a new phone? After unboxing it, you set up. You get all excited and can't wait to put in the details, set up the password, log into all the necessary accounts. So actually, the first experience you are actually getting from the phone is touch. The vibration of each click is super important. Which is why, on our Poco M4 Pro 5G, we have featured a flagship-level linear motor, the X-axis linear motor. And this motor is the exact same one we use on the Poco F3, and also featured on many flagship devices out there. The vibration is crisp and sharp. Simply put, it will make each touch feel premium, whether you're just gaming or just typing which is basically the two things I do most, but it's an awesome experience. And when it comes to daily convenience, you can't forget all these features. Now, these features are really becoming legendary at this point, slowly disappearing in high-end flagships, but they're still very much a part of our daily life. Even if you don't use it on a daily basis, it's still there in case you might need it. IR Blaster can be handy, when your TV or AC remote runs out of battery. And headphone jack is also great for those who are chasing that high sound quality, or when your wireless earphones run out of battery. And for our fingerprint sensor, you can customize some simple functions. Simply double tap and open one of these features. Something small like this may seem like it's no big deal, and it's not, but it can be super handy, and it can actually complete the overall experience and without you even knowing it. Now, the experience of the Poco M4 Pro 5G has really been powered up. The audio is great for any sort of entertainment. The feel, powered by the X-axis linear motor, is simply sensational. And having those legendary features, you can always rely on them when you need them. So here it is. This is the Poco M4 Pro 5G, powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 810, a power-up from its previous generation, still comes with a massive 5,000 milliamp battery that can last you for two days. But now, with a 33-watt Pro fast charging that can charge the device in less than an hour. A great mid-range screen, but now even better with DCI-P3, sunlight display, and an improved touch sampling rate. And the camera our fans have been asking for, 50 megapixel main sensor, for clear shots, and a 119-degree ultra-wide camera to capture even more. And all the awesome experience features to complete the entertainment package. Now let's take a look at a video to recap all those powerful specs. Now, when we take out M3 Pro 5G and compare it to the M4 Pro 5G, in every single big category, performance, battery, display, camera, and experience, there was improvements. 
The M4 Pro 5G, it's here to power up. But not only to power up from ourselves, but also from the overall mid-range 5G smartphone standard in the whole market. Improving on an already great 5G mid-range device was pretty difficult, but we believe we managed to pull it off. Now price. Yeah, I know you guys are all waiting for it, but before we announce the price, let's take a look at another comparison. If we take a look at some of the popular 5G mid-range smartphones on the market, such as these two, the M4 Pro 5G beats them out on every single spec in the listed category. Their price is starting around 269 euros and above for the base variant. Now, for our base variant of 4 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte, we have an amazing price of just 229 euros. Now, just a bit over 200 euros for all those great specifications. So we're powering up the value as well here. But you know, we also have an early bird. For our base variant, our early bird price starts at 199 euros. Now, for our early bird prices, it's just in time for the upcoming holiday seasons. But yes, we do have the higher variant as well. So let's take a look at that. For the 6 gigabyte plus 128 gigabyte option, the Poco M4 Pro 5G starts at 249 euros. Of course, there is an early bird price for this. It comes in at an amazing price of 219 euros. Now, this price is lower than the retail price of the base variant. And this is a deal that cannot be missed. So let's come back to this comparison where we put the price and specifications side by side. When we beat out the competitors in every single